Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video on the topic of curb rash. I tend to take great care of my rims, I invested a lot of money to purchase them, and I don't want any curb rash or scratches on them at all, so I literally park a foot away from the curb most of the time and try to avoid any contact with anything. Unfortunately, someone else was driving my car, and I had the luxury of witnessing them rub up against the curb with my back passenger side rim. The setup I had on at the time was 275 tires stretched out on a 20 by 11 inch rim. So the rim lip does stick out a little bit and is exposed to the elements like curbs. And guess what? As they hit the curb, the rim took the brunt of the damage and got scraped up pretty good as you'll see. As someone who loves their car and rims, you'll know that I was devastated and I didn't know what could be done to fix it. But I just wanted to make this video to share my solution. So curb rash isn't the end of the world and I quickly got on Google, found a local rim repair shop, called them and made an appointment and they were able to help me out. So I brought my car, waited a few hours and as you'll see on screen, the end result looked pretty good. You couldn't really tell that there was any original damage and there's no scrapes or chunks missing off the rim anymore. The final cost, $75 US cash for all that rim damage and now I can go back to parking far away from any curbs. I'm also planning on covering up more of the rim with 315s, but I still didn't want it to look how it did with that damage on it. So again, just wanted to make this quick video sharing my experience with fixing up some curb rash. I know that lots of you guys care about your cars and wheels, just like I do, and the curb rash does happen whether you caused it or someone else, but if you want it to be repaired, it can be. Make sure to check out your area, get on Google, see what people are saying about reviews of the different repair stores, and if you do want those rims fixed, they can be restored to look like nothing ever happened. Thankfully, there are some really skilled people out there to do it. So thanks for watching this quick little video. Something a little bit different, but hopefully interesting. Stay tuned for lots more mods to my charger, those 315 tires included, as well as all the Mopar news out there as it happens. I'll see you next time.